Hi Scorpio, it's Elle here to do your February 2018 monthly reading. This will be a general reading. It won't resonate with every Scorpio who views the video. But if it does resonate with you, please like, share, comment to the channel, okay? And to the video post. All right, so I do shuffle and pray over the cards off camera. So let's get started. We're going to start with our Scorpio couples. What's the messages for our Scorpio couples? Thank you, thank you, thank you for true, accurate messages for Scorpio couples. Ace of Cups. Messages for Scorpio couples. Knight of Pentacles. Nine of Pentacles, King of Wands, Six of Wands. King of Wands, Queen of Wands. So this definitely is a couple. Justice, Three of Cups. All right. And Seven of Wands and Three of Wands. Okay, Scorpio couples. For some of my couples out there, not all, but if it resonates, it resonates. Um, it looks like some of you try to have a resurgence in love. And either you or your partner, could be a Capricorn, Virgo, Taurus, Sun, Moon, or Rising, tried to offer something stable, but they were taking their time with it. And they were still kind of acting single. You know? Very charming. A flirt. Charismatic. Ladies man. Ladies woman. Likes a lot of attention and recognition. Your partner could be a fire sign. Aries. Sagittarius. Leo. The passion between you guys. The love between you guys is... It's so periodical. It's so spontaneous. It's so when this person feels like they want to rush in and give you something to keep you holding on. That's what I'm hearing. I don't even know who that's for. But it looks like for me, Scorpio, some of you have gotten, you know, a grasp on that. You know, they you get it. You know? You understand them. They could be a fire sign or have fire in their chart or just act like a fire sign. And you could be very se sexy and seductive as well to your partner. But it looks like you want justice. Some of you want out a divorce if, if marriage is what you're in. You just want justice. You want an ending. You want things to be balanced again because there could possibly be a third party here. Or that's what you're, you're, you're fearing. Or you feel like there is someone else or something else. And that's why you're really standoffish with the Seven of Wands. You're standing your ground about how you feel. Some of you are leaving behind partnership and really looking out into the future, to the horizons. As, you know, saying to yourself, there might be a, more than just this relationship for me. Because once again, it might be a third party. It may not be... I'm feeling like for some of you, it's not confirmed. But you know. You know? What's the Three of Cups? What is 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 the Three of Cups? What's the Three of Cups? The Ace of Sword. Yeah, you need clarity as to if there is a third party. That's that clarity that makes you decisive and divisive. It'll bring you balance. Some of you could be dealing with the Sagittarius directly. Wow, and then the Lovers comes out. Yep, you need to know if there's another person. Some of you could be dealing with the Gemini. Judgment is here, so you can make a final decision about what you need to do in this situation to stay or to go. All right, Scorpio couples. I'm sorry that it wasn't 
roses and sunshine. But you know, most time you come to a tarot card reading, it's because you, you, you want answers, you need answers. It's not necessarily that you're in a good relationship. You know, if you're in a good relationship, you don't need a tarot card reading. That's coming from a person who has been in a good relationship before and who has been in a bad relationship. You 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 need tarot card readings when you know that that person is a complete asshole, you know, whatever. All right, so let's go Scorpio singles. Thank you for the messages for Scorpio singles. True, accurate messages for Scorpio singles. Scorpio singles. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you for the messages for Scorpio singles. What's to come for Scorpio singles? Let's see them out. Queen of Wands. The Fool. Nice. Queen of Pentacles, Knight of Swords. Okay. Page of Pentacles. High Priestess. Temperance. Judgment. Three of Pentacles, Two of Cups. Excuse me. Looks like you have options, Scorpio singles. Um, for some of you, you're in a union that is very much, you know, loving and it reciprocates, you know. Um, could be with the fire sign, Aries, Sagittarius, Leo, male or female. The sun, nice, yeah. Um, some of you could be dealing with a Capricorn Virgo Taurus or someone who um, has those attributes. The message of stability is here. Someone's holding back and or keeping secrets. Maybe about what they want to do or the plans for the relationship or just holding back things for themselves. I'm here because some people feel like it brings balance to them and the relationship. But you will have to make a final decision, a judgment call about this partnership. Do you want it? Do you want partnership? Three of Pentacles, Two of Cups, and the Sun. It looks really good. But you have to make that decision. Are you in or are you out? Are you going to take the risk? with a certain person or persons I don't know a certain person because someone is a little confrontational about and they're moving fast about what they have to offer you Scorpio You could be a very intuitive person too. You could be into, you know, spirit, very heavy, psychic, tarot card reader, you know. Page of Pentacles, nice. Very grounded energy, like it's not very flighty, outside of the knight of swords but it looks like someone wants you just to make a decision Scorpio are you in or are you out or vice versa you want someone else to make a decision whether they're in or out but the love is here the mutual love is here the wanting to partnership is here someone just has to say okay yes this is what we're doing looks good Scorpio singles alright Let's get some general energy for my Scorpios. Thank you for the general energy for all Scorpios. General energy for all Scorpios. To a diamond, the love affair or the business relationship not approved of. 
Thank you, thank you, thank you for the messages, the general energy from my Scorpios. That's no good. If they, if these cards want to come out, they'll come back out. Okay, let's go to a diamond. Could be dealing with a Capricorn Virgo Taurus. You have a decision you need to weigh up. Love affair here. Okay. okay. Okay, Scorpio, somebody does not want to be found out. Somebody is definitely devising a plan of action because they are, it's either a business relationship that is just not approved of. Definitely a love affair is never approved of, especially when you're partnered with someone else. The Seven of Swords is here, Seven of Spades, loss of friendship, loss of burden to carry, devising a plan of action secret plan of action that card just did not want to come to the table it fell on the floor twice right four of hearts change of journey and home and or home so some of you could be devising a plan or someone around you is devising a plan to you know get out of a love affair maybe right wow they may be devising this plan because there's a an unfaithful spouse partner broken promises in the midst of a relationship four of diamond is here but someone's still holding on either still trying to hold on to the status of what used to be you know like they just don't want to let it go king of diamond is here capricorn virgo taurus three of club um, gossip jealousy someone leaving behind partnership three of hearts this is definitely third party definitely a love affair regret not saying things or regret saying things ace of club eight of clubs so things so even in the midst of someone's transitioning, someone is devising a plan to get out of a situation that no longer serves them, either it's business or it's love. They're leaving behind partnership and wanting to have a new passion that starts somewhere else, and they're doing it fast with the eight of clubs. They also could be having communication, rapid communication, about the trouble, trouble in relationships. Seven of Diamond. Yes, yeah, surprise news, baby news. If not you, someone else. Nine of Club. This is the new boyfriend, new girlfriend in this deck. Even though you've been through a lot with the Nine of Club, this is the new boyfriend, new girlfriend. Nine of Spade. Low energy, disappointment. Um, negativity in your mind and your mental four of club that's like the tower a bad event comes in unsuspectingly surrounding you possibly scorpio your family life or what's already established and it possibly makes you single if you're not single um, also that's some really good money energy because this is also being restless in your current job because you have a business opportunity. But definitely a shake up in relationship and what's already established and then you become single. I think it was something like this for the last reading for Scorpio. Like somebody is, just keeps holding on. It looks like Scorpio wants to leave but somebody's holding on to Scorpio. Could be a fire sign, Aries, Sagittarius, Leo. Get us some butterfly oracle cards and let's get out of here. 
Thank you, thank you, thank you for the messages for my single Scorpios. The messages for my single Scorpios. What should my single Scorpios be focused on from now, February 2018, going into March? March 2018. Single Scorpios should be focused on sentimental feelings, family changes, and spiritual growth. I did see that with the high priestess there. Nice. Sentimental feelings. So it's like you're past the super emotional, draining feelings of a certain situation. And you're more in the mindset of, on the heart set of, I know that this isn't good for me or, it, or this won't be good for me but there are fond memories of. So it's almost... You see the light when you have sentimental feelings about anything. You, you see the good and the bad. Alright. Family changes. This could be an addition to the family uh, via engagement, marriage someone having a baby or baby news breakups marital breakdowns unfortunately for my single Scorpios could be surrounding you or someone else spiritual growth this could be what you make it spiritual growth um, it's in no particular direction Spiritual growth is what you, you define it as. All right. So what are the messages for my couple, Scorpios? The messages for my couple, Scorpios. True, accurate messages for my couple, Scorpios. Scorpios. From now until March 2018. Dietary change. Aquarius got this. I want to get that one. All right. Messages for my couple, Scorpios. Wow. Got a lot. Keep the faith, health care change, sentimental feelings, and what fell on the floor is support. Um, looks like there's a lot of health related issues here. Keep the faith. Either you or someone else may have health concerns. You're definitely very concerned. Keep the faith, though. Get a second opinion. If this is someone else you're concerned about, sentimental feelings are there. You know, the sentiment, the caring sentiment of, the loving sentiment of. Support is here for you. Um, whether that's professional support or that's family support. A support from loved ones. The support is here. Reach out. Reach out to others. Alright. Okay. So those are the messages for Scorpio. I hope they resonated with each and every Scorpio who viewed the video. If they did, like, like, like. Click that like button. Comment, please. Comment to to the video post uh, subscribe it all helps uh, if you'd like to book a personal reading my email is below to of l at gmail.com follow me on instagram my handles are below Fo follow me on instago that's a new app where you can ask a question or two i'll pull a few cards um it's just for small things you know it's not a full reading you no don't don't go there for that email me um, what else? Choose to fund the page. Click the GoFundMe link. If everybody just submitted a dollar, we can get more cards. Uh, so click the GoFundMe link. Uh, give 50 cents. Give a dollar. Anything helps. Uh, and it'll definitely go back into, uh, the channel to get more crystals, more cards, just more fun things for us. Okay? Uh,
Remember, Scorpio, when in doubt, pray. I'm praying for you. Pray for me as well, too. Thank you for tuning in. Um, have a happy, happy, happy February 2018. Valentine's Day is around the corner. Take care, guys. Talk to you soon.